Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this uh, witch hat phone case, I'm going to be using this phone case that is pretty stained. It used to be clear. I painted it all the time. I do have a lot of phone case DIYs on my channel if you want to check them out. But for this case, I'm going to be using this uh, yellow green and black acrylic paint and this like glass mixing bowl that I use and so I'm just gonna mix those three acrylic paints until I have like this witch face looking green I'm gonna be painting but just the top part giving this few coats uh, letting them dry in between coats I'm gonna be using a round lipstick or a chapstick or whatever you have this round shape you can use a mini cookie cutter, a round one, doesn't matter what it is but I'm gonna be tracing like the round shape all around the edge and I would recommend covering the camera gap last because I did encounter like a space issue there and that's what I did. The like camera gap kind of like distracts in that part I feel like that is not a perfect pattern. I'm going to be painting one purple and one black doing this like so. Um, giving this few coats and letting them dry in between coats and I'm actually covering the edges as well. So it's gonna be one purple, one black, one purple, one black all over the place. At the end I had to do something with the, as I call them, bubbles towards the gap of the camera lens because it was gonna be like two purples together. So I had to squeeze them but I think it worked fine at the end. Then I'm going to be using my orange acrylic paint and this adding tool. I do have the DIY for this adding tool, by the way. It's really easy to make. But I'm going to be adding orange dots on my black bubbles. And then for my purple bubbles, I had some leftover paint. I'm going to be working with this other uh, dotting tool that I did. I do have the DIY for this as well. It's kind of like a smaller dotting tool. But yeah, now I'm going to be adding those dots to my purple bubbles. You can stop right here if you want to. Of course, it's pretty much up to you. Uh, but I'm going to be kind of like drawing a witch's hat. Now that I think about it, I kind of like regret this shape. I wish I could go back to just you know draw one of those like straight up hats you know what i mean now to paint this i'm going to be using my black acrylic paint and this like sponge i don't know what is this like a sponge brush i got this at nyx nyx cosmetics i was trying an eyeliner i think and i just kept this one it looks stained but it's clean so yeah, i'm just going to be using that to kind of like work on the shape following my drawing uh, with my pencil and then just going back and forth about the shape that I made. I mean, the hat looks kind of cute. Maybe you want to go for this and maybe you can make it better. But as a final step, I'm going to be adding some like details to my hat, going with my pencil and then just with my purple painting that and just making this kind of like 2D. Then I'm going to be using this gloss, like spray gloss that I got at Home Depot. And yeah guys, this is pretty much the phone case that I want to share with you. Other than the direction of my hat, I really like this one. I think it turned out really cute. I think it's a fun one. It's colorful. It's Halloween. It's kind of like dainty but out there and loud at the same time. But maybe I have no idea on how to describe things. And I really hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out more Halloween stuff and phone cases that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!